Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica. I go by I see stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram, and I will be your shenanigan sovereign tonight. Uh, quickly, I will run you through the games that we have on the channel, and um, then someone will do the recap for me. Mondays, obviously, the Iowan Adventures. Tuesday nights at seven at eight thirty p.m. E nope. Let's let's. Use your brain today, Jessica. 7.30 p.m. EST. Uh, we have our Shadowrun campaign DM'd by uh, Cobblesworth with myself and uh, Daniel here. Um, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 8 p.m. EST by... Tal not Talerius Game. We're in a... We're doing good. At... Uh, by Markham. Mr. Markham. I'm so sorry. Fridays... At 10 p.m. EST, we have The Legends of Kralos, which is by Talarius Game Master. It's a TTRPG created and GM'd by him. Um, and starting this Saturday, we have The Moonstone Matriarchy at 8 p.m. EST. That's also GM'd by myself and features James's wife. So... Uh, Caro. Yes. Introduce yourself. Hello, um, I'm Imaginary Caro. Uh, I'll be playing Gilly Gawain, our Warbarian. Um, and I'm at Imaginary Caro on TikTok and other places, and also Corner Caro some places. That's me. Should I do recap now, or should everybody do their introductions and then do the I intros, and then we'll do recap. Okay. James. James. <laughs> I was like, who's next? We chose the same person. <laughs> it's it's because I'm so smiley. That's what I tell myself, chat. Just because yeah. I'm happy. Uh, but hello, internet people. Uh, my name is James. I go by Mazrix or Mazrix24 pretty much forever. Uh, anywhere you can find those names on the internet. Um, tonight, I will be playing Ara of Dezark, our Circle of Stars, Human Druid. And uh, might have a touch of an Irish uh, afterthought given me shit in the back of my mind. And that is the Storm Soul uh, Sorcerer that shares a uh, body with me. Uh, his name is Varian. So stay tuned to see if shenanigans arise. Um, don't mind me. I'll be eating a chip and I'm passing it off to Dan. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Uh, if I'm ever looking up like this, it means I'm fiddling with something on the Streamlabs stuff. Uh, tonight I will be playing <laughs> Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard <laughs> warlock, who uh, wants to know what the fuck is up with this demon lady. It's weird. It's weird. Which, which cat caused the Tourette's stop? Hmm? Stop. I said stop. Did I did I hear that? Did I did I just like make that up? Is that I didn't say stop. What? I didn't notice, but I don't know if I would have. I, I okay. heard him say that he was interested to find out with what was happening with the demon lady and stuff. Oh maybe I yeah, I totally missed. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, wait, what? Got I it. thought I was paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I heard stop because I was chewing and I'm deaf. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I said, and I'm the one who said it. Um, let's send it over to this way, Caro. No, pie. Right. Yeah. To pie, pie. To pie. Uh, I clearly we're all doing great. Every everybody has perfect hearing. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Pyrea. Um, I am playing the demon lady, uh, who <laughs> whose name might be Alaywood Elanthrus, uh, who is a chronology wizard, and so we'll and see. a demon. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Demon. Very suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Uh then we'll wrap it back up uh with with uh Caro. Go ahead and do the uh Is it recap, recap time? Review? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the right. Dan was just ready. He was just like, <laughs> hey, let's do the recap. Just moving right. it along. <laughs> All right. Previously on the AON Adventures, the crew fought a basil basilisk that killed a Revan Roy's sibling Phalus previously. Um, Gilly became a snake chew toy and experimented with new tentacle powers. Damascus invented fisting. 
uh, by which I mean he animated the petrified fists of the basilisk's previous victims to great effect. Uh, ultimately, Arev loosed the killing shot into the basilisk's eye while simultaneously being petrified from the feet up in an act of dramatic filial revenge. Uh, luckily, Damascus came prepared with an anti-petrification potion, and Arev was quickly destatuified. Arev and Roy took a moment to mourn Phalus, while Damascus, Gilly, and Faiza took a moment to harvest a basilisk eyeball. Arev sent an SOS to Callum, and then the gang followed Roy up the big special tree on a mission to save his wife. On a high platform, they found Roy's mother Esme performing a necromantic ritual inv involving a black crystal sword and an emaciated purple tiefling, who was Rebella's mother. Uh, the Herald of Darkness and the Herald of Void appeared as apparitions to block the party's progress and return Damascus's gifted flute. A towering figure began to emerge from Esme's dark portal, portal as hundreds of zombified Terra Seal be began swarming up the stairs, and below the cord, Callum arrived to answer Erev's call. Erev took his starry dragon form and rocketed across the gap, intending to seize the black crystal sword, but before he got a chance, the party was all sucked into the dark portal and found themselves high in the air, falling towards a hellscape. Cut to Alewin. The long-lost chronology wizard has been in Narak, did I say that right? The pain dimension, working for the cunning. The party's arrival was expected, and she set off to intercept them. Damascus banished Arev back to Eowyn, but instead of a zombie-infested jungle treehouse, he returned to find a long-destroyed wasteland, and then he was brought back. Mismatched memories caused tension as the party got reacquainted with this new, presumably demonic, wizard. Unable to reconcile their conflicting histories, the group decided to set time-related shenanigans aside and visit the cunning. And that's where we start. Is there anything that anyone wants to do while you guys are following a Lewin into a world of lava rivers and sulfur clouds? I, mean, I want to... all sorts of perception checks. <laughs> Why? I, I want to say that Kara, that was, that was like exceptional. That was it was so, so good. good. It was really I was good. Like, yeah. I was sitting there like, cool. Mine's not gonna be that good but it's fine. a lot of stuff happened that episode <laughs> right it's a busy find one. out that's that's the one thing that i have learned from doing the recap last week and then listening to yours is our sessions have so much <laughs> that happened. things happen <laughs> it's wild okay that's uh, good <clears throat> lava rivers yeah. um you know what you know what? i have something um, I haven't called Dodger in a while, mm -hmm. and this isn't exactly the same plane. So as I'm already starting to panic because a, a Rev's realizing that he not only couldn't get back to Kalum, but that when he was banished, it seems that like time ha has has moved, has progressed, like like that opportunity is lost. Um, he's sort of cycling through internally. Um, the other things that might be lost. So out of panic, um, he's going to try and um, frisk around for the ball of returning and and just give it a quick toss ahead on the path. You throw your ball. Um, and it rolls. And it rolls. And it rolls until it eventually slows down and stops no. and stays there. Arev walks forward. The boots of the uh, grown armor that he's wearing that is a uh, some sort of w witchcraft armor um, born out of a, a seed, I suppose, of the Tree of Reincarnation or one of the Tree of Three. And as these boots crunch into what I imagine is the, the, the loose shorn gravel of the road, you know, eliciting that crunchy, crackly sound that you get when you walk on those undeveloped pathways he picks up the ball and pockets it and just very quietly stares off into the distance that is so upsetting mm -hmm. that's, that's so sad 
Eleven clocks that, but is kind of like, all right, cool. <laughs> Wait, if Winter. I see that happening, I want to try and call Otto. Can I call Otto? You can call Otto. You call Otto. What do you say to Otto? Otto. Otto. <laughs> hey, buddy. Are you around? Now, Otto is not a spirit. He's ethereal. He's ethereal. He's made out of... No, he is ethereal. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Otto doesn't answer you. I love you, buddy. So sad. Just sit in the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. We've established that ethereal creatures are part of Baloth's domain. Okay, but we've got Paws is around, right? Because Paws came with us. Paws came with Paws us. Paws is an actual Paws. flesh being. Yes, there we go. We have one animal. We have, you one, have animal. one animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who Paws is still full giant size, just plodding along next to us. <laughs> Probably likes to be big. Oh, yeah. Every once in a while, they reach over and give her scritches right under her chin. She snaps at your hand every now and then just to keep you no, on your toes. Uh, um, I would like to do something, uh huh. And I apologize in advance to one of my fellow players. Oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> <laughs> I would like to cast detect thoughts on um, Alewin. I would like to know what she's thinking about where she's why. taking us. I, I don't <laughs> trust her. Do you let it happen? Um, Do you want to roll? There's no... There's You're no... casting a spell. Do you have subtle oh. spell? Uh, no, I do not. That is a good point. Uh, I can roll, a, roll for it not to happen, right? What's the DC? You can't for this one. This will just happen uh, oh. unless you okay. counterspell it. But you only get surface level stuff. Yeah. Is there any way I he can will... like, pull back a little bit and do it behind? Tell me back what you were doing quietly? to cast this spell. Um, it is just it's VSM copper keys. I just hang back a little bit as we're walking. Um, how far? I have like thirty feet because okay. that's the range of the spell. Okay. Um, I'll make it. I can hang on. Because Paws is my fine greater steed, I can communicate with it, with her telepathically. So you I can. will tell her to, like, just hang back a little. Like, be difficult. Be, be a cat. Just dig at the ground for a little while. And have her start digging she... so I have to stop and, like, collect her. Mm. She drops and starts rolling in the dust that you will <laughs> have to clean out of her fur later. Totally fine. I'll make her small before I do that, so it's easier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just go. Pause. Well, now, why you gonna make things so difficult? All right, all right. And one keep of walking. her wings. Gonna... One of her wings picks, scoops up a bit of dust, and just throws it at you. Just like a, as she's rolling, she heard "be difficult" oh. and was like, as "Oh, I, my... I got this." Uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> Good girl, I suppose. I say in my head. Um, <laughs> And then I'll call to the rest of the group and tell them that I need to... I'll catch up with you. Give me, like, ten seconds. Do you want me to wait? No, Hang on, right. I'll wait with you. Okay. Anybody else? Elaine is, like, continuing, but she has, um, like, jumped over a small little, like, river of lava, and she's, like, kind of waiting for the rest of you to make sure you get across it, but it's, like, this big. So she's like standing on the other side, like, I can't leave them here. I can't leave them here. They'll fall in this tiny, <laughs> tiny river. So she's standing on the other side, just like arms crossed and she's tapping her toes. As she's kind of just like looking forward and like, fine, fine, continue. I go behind pause. So pause is between us and gives me a little <laughs> bit of cover as I kneel down to pet her and pretend that I'm brushing her off and then can I take a spell? Amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I imagine it actually looks like on the other 100%. side. Oh, for sure. 100%. You, you uh, fully um, 
did the maestro movements to cast that spell. Uh, get that on on her. Is that um, is that concentration? Uh, it is. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna need you to roll me a d20. Okay. Why? Just do it. Don't worry well, about it. Don't, <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, does a 19 pass? You're fine. Continue on. Why? Why? We don't know what it was. We don't what? know what it was now. What? What happened? How much, how many surface thoughts would you like? Because I was going to let you, this pass regardless because she's okay. in her head. She's not um, paying attention to you. A little devil may care. It's a, it's how many a surface thoughts does so Elena have? For a minute. Does Elena wanna... have ADHD? That's what we're going to learn. Does this Alay would have ADHD? That's a better <laughs> question. Yes, but it, it's it's a it's a superpower to her, not a not yeah, a. Yeah. Oh, I had a thought. <laughs> Must be nice, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So while she's there, kind of tapping her foot, um, you said it lasts for a minute, correct? Yes. Yeah. All yeah. right. You're gonna get. Uh, surface thoughts are. How can these? How can they be so different? I, 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 what did I miss? I must have missed some very large variable. But no, there's no way I could have missed. That was perfect. But what if I had, oh, no. Well, I wasn't quite sure what the outcome of the very end was. And if it happened to be... Ooh, the worst case scenario, then maybe? No, that still doesn't add up. Why do they not recognize me? I'm going to have to ask the Cunning and Renanel why. And why they didn't tell me? How dare they not tell me? They should have known this. Why didn't they know? They could have filled me in and then I wouldn't have gone in so blind. I was very prepared. Is that a minute? I think that's been about a minute, yeah. I keep going. Totally take notes on all that. That is okay. very useful. Uh-huh. <laughs> Could be. He doesn't know. And yeah. at the very end of that minute, you get a nip from pause as you breaking your concentration. Oh. <laughs> and you hear nice. in your head, you're very mouse-like in this size. I ain't a mouse. <laughs> but you're very impressive and a fantastic hunter. Let me actually clean you off and I'll press the digitation off all of the dirt on her. Beza helps you and then looks at you and is just like in your head you hear. So you're gonna like fill the rest of us in on your little abracadabra? Uh, I say let's walk and talk. And you can I'll do get- that? If I try and she, hard, she turns so around. Like, I have to break concentration. <laughs> has to make sure that he can concentrate on walking and talking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, if Faze is going to connect us, then yeah, I'll fill everybody in on what I picked up from this demon lady. In- she <laughs> Lyman is still on the other side of the tiny, tiny lava river. Just um, one. And she's just, she's flipping through um, her spell book. And if, if you're paying attention at all, there's other little tiny runes that she's like writing in the air and they'll stay in the air for a brief second before they disappear in like a like coppery, um, glittery kind of gold. Um, but it's Gosh. it's different than her spell book. This is like real wizard shit. Mm-hmm. Holy I shit. Like it, you're a no wizard, way. Harry. <laughs> I she does will... connect you all. Yeah. So I might have listened in on a new friend just to ensure that we ain't walking into some sort of trap from a doppelganger demon taking the form of an elf lady that we're expecting to have known. Uh, I think you kinda... need to check your tenses, but that's cool. We get the idea. It will be an impressively convoluted plan. But you never know. I mean... From the minute I got, she's got an impressively convoluted brain. <laughs> Something b- bursts out of her spell book as she goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> There's a lady. <laughs> There's a lady. <laughs> Actually, you know what? A rep. Roll me a D100. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what this is. A chance. Look at you being sneaky. D20s, D100s. What's going on? Right? Oh, no. The first one was totally to see if Paws bit me. <laughs> so you might hate me for this? Uh-huh. I rolled a 98. Ooh. 98. With that... Oh! There's a lay win. That is the thought that goes through your head. Ooh. And Ooh. with the 98, a blinding pain shoots through your head as you get a migraine as all of these memories that had been erased in our in our dimension start funneling into your brain and just everything comes back Every everything nice. you remember Lewin. you remember meeting her you remember all of the times that you the fun times that you had with her all of you remember teaching her dispel magic you remember you remember the conversations that varian had with her the arguments of just gotta boil out the magic all of these little things <laughs> come flooding back to you and oh my god God, is your head going to explode? You do not have the room for all these memories suddenly, it feels like. Oh. oh. Damn it. You... And then you remember the false Hydra and finding a Lewin's knapsack and her spell book. You remember Talon. You remember Callum and Alewin's relationship. <laughs> You're mean. Uh -oh. I know. <laughs> and you look at the Alewin in front of you. And for a second you go, that can't possibly be the same woman. Could it? Rev walks um, over towards New Lewin over there. <laughs> New Lewin. <laughs> And uh, watch your step. I know it's not very uh wide, but if you get your foot stuck in it, it'll goodbye for your foot. Just that's a an excellent observation. Mm -hmm. I will absolutely be mindful of my footwear, um, yes. especially because this seems to be made out of bark. And I like knock on like the my greaves a little bit, just kind of like a <laughs> noise. And then as I take I take a step over the lava pool, I go, you know, uh, it's kind of funny. We have a, I noticed just based off of your actions before you started doing your magic, which uh, quite impressive, by the way. Um, it, it, you seemed a little impatient just with the group as we were trying to catch up with you. And I, you know, we it's funny. We have a saying back in Rhea where I'm from, and it's uh, a, a, se a seed in the ground is worth two in the hand. And uh, it's just that what what I mean, of course, is that um, sometimes the uh, the path that has already been laid is worth more than the plans that you have yet to to try and plant. And uh, anyways, I uh, thought you might benefit from that insight. And you're going to see her write some runes and, like, gather them. And they'll enter her book. <laughs> uh, sure. I'm sorry. Yes, seeds. Um, lovely. Shall we? Oh. 
All right. Uh, well, um, yeah, we may as well. What are your thoughts on this moment, Rev? <laughs> so, a uh, Rev came forward, and he, in his head, he was thinking, you know, this can't possibly be like. Let's sorry. Let's do the Rev voice. This can't possibly be the same Alewa. Can it? No, you, here, hang on. And he goes forward and he does what he used to do with the old Alewin and he pulls forth sort of like this, one of these old Rayan sayings and Alewin always used to take the bait or at least find them charming. And this one didn't even give him the time of day. And so after he finishes talking and you know, she gives me that little, what seeds? Charming. Uh, I, Arev has the thought as he looks at this moving corpse. And he realizes, no, you're not her. And then he walks past her. Like, you know where you're going? <laughs> I mean... He, Arev takes the lead. My feet <laughs> might. Just... Hmm? I said, my feet might. You take the lead. And you begin to walk. Roll me a d6. Four. As you walk with Alewin, just slightly behind you, the landscape is bleak and desolate with no signs of life or hope. You come to, I believe, and I'm just like, I did not even attempt to I did not even attempt to just uh, make a note for myself as to where you're walking right now, but it is a canyon. On either side of you, the orange walls rise up and you have a narrow pathway ahead of you to walk through, which I'm assuming you go into. Oh, for sure. It's if it's the the one sort of path forward, then yeah. Yeah, that's the only way that you can go forward. And I'm going to need everyone to open up the roll 20. What? But why? Great. Because you notice <laughs> as you pass through this um, canyon that at the end of it are two figures. Well, I'm going to say there are four figures. Well, Damn it, Jessica. Do better. Well, sorry. There are two <laughs> figures are that you see. Between two and 15 figures. <laughs> roll me in it. Roll me a perception check because I <laughs> fucked it up already. <laughs> Ugh. A nine in total. I don't, I don't see shit. Yeah. That one. <laughs> no <laughs> one. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what did everyone Both everyone under us. a 10? I got a three on the die. Pause. Okay, you Wait, guys. I can roll for pause. Can I roll for pause? Oh, yeah, roll for pause. <laughs> oh, and Faza. I can roll for Faza too. You can roll oh, for yeah. Faza. You can roll for Winter. Winter. Can roll for Faza first. Winter, right? Winter. Winter's tall. He sees I, you, things. You'd think that I'd be used to opening that sheet by now, but it's only been like four sessions. <laughs> it's only been like four sessions. But Faza got a two. Hey! We're doing <laughs> wow, man. we're doing well. Oh, sorry, a we're four all distracted. Total. Which you got a nine total. Wow. Okay. 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 Cool. Wow. Awesome. I'm does, gonna. Does you don't know what sight? to look for. We don't know what to look for because everything's so weird. Yeah. So basically, yeah. you don't see the two in front of you until you end up. I want to know what that reaction like was, Dan. Thirty. Pause. Roll the net twenty. Feet from. Uh, not 20 but so pause for the pause. cat pause yeah pause she can talk to you you motherfucker 
I know. Pause, on the other hand. Oh. Takes off into the sky. Oh. What the fuck? And as she's I... flying, sees another two um, oh, beings C-15. on top. <laughs> yeah. So, what you see are two beings that look almost ant like they have they have the probo- not it's not a proboscis it's yeah, their okay. pincers right they have the pincers and the mandibles. antenna mandibles that's what they are perfect pincers works too yeah so mandibles they have the mandibles and they have the dark black skin and those big bug eyes and on top as Paws flies over them, catching their attention. Are two hairy humanoid beings with moth wings. They have the proboscis. Mothman. Yes, the Mothman. Cool. And it seems like they are set up in a way to ambush people Great. that are coming through. Uh. Don't want to alarm you all, but Paz says that there are two more of those demon bugs up ahead. Well, these ones got wings. Which get down here and help us out. Um, Paz uh, completely ignores you and <laughs> is going to dive for one of the uh oh oh boy the flying ones because she, she's like bug. This is going to be mm-hmm. a tasty snack. Cat plus bug. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, Worst nat 20. Set these up. Worst nat 20 ever. Pause is getting Uh. us into a fight. Yeah, (laughs) pause is getting you into a fight. I don't understand why they're not going. Why they're not uh, setting up. We're on the token layer. I can't drag and drop you guys. What's going on? Um, Maybe we can. Try it again. I've been trying. I mine's not doing. I it. can drag and drop. Oh, myself. I see you. Perfect. Okay. I don't see Gilly on here in the list of characters. Yeah, I'm I trying to know what's going. They've updated I'm on it, and it's really weird. If Gilly's want, at the top. Can... Okay. Of the top of that list, do you not see it? Mm, I see nope. Faza and Damascus. In my list of characters, I have a Rev, Damascus, a Lewin, Faza, but I don't know. Okay, hang on a second, then I will put everyone on the board. It's just taking a minute. They update, and now I have to, like, wait while it, like, loads and stuff. Yeah. Not to... Rude. Oh, there's me. There's you. Are we on that side? Got it. Yes. I thought we were on the south. You've been walking through. Gotcha. Uh, Do I have time? Did the demon lady just come from this direction? Yeah, get you guys. guys. Oh, face face already. Do I have time to stack a uh, armor of Agathis on myself before pause attacks this lady or this bug? I'll say because you're connected to pause and you see her uh just diving for your little mothman up there. Uh yes. We'll do that. Um, everyone roll for initiative as the bugs in front of you, their mandibles begin to clack, 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 clack. And you see like a, a nice glob of drool fall out of one of their mouths. And you get the feeling that they're like, mm-hmm, dinner. Great. Love it. Ali, when you know you've dealt with with people with demons like this before they are demons they're not devils so they're not they are evil um and they will probably not listen to you okay. they are a the spawn of an arbriac okay. and i can't even why am i even bothering and spawn of rohoplaxarius what oh the fuck rohoplaxarius you don't know no. rohoplaxarius <laughs> Like what the fuck? Demon Lord. I don't like there are too many letters here for me to have to say that yeah, word. Yeah, fair. Just just like mm. let me put this in the chat for you. Okay. Like what what is that? <laughs> okay, what so is she, that? she knows that there's no pro there. 
They're yeah. gonna have to fight through this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. That was that was gross. First of all, uh, let's roll for initiative. What is everyone's initiative? Alewin. Eighteen. Eighteen. You can definitely drink on stream. That's fine. Uh, what's Winter's initiative? James asked. Yeah, no, Winter is 18. Sorry, I put it in chat. 18. No, it's 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gilly. 16. 16. FaZa. Uh, she got an 8. 8. Amazing. Uh, Damascus. 20. 20. Uh, your cat will go on your turn? Yes. A rev? I, I have to tell him what eight. to do with the bonus. Eight. eight. Okay, that's why, so that's why I said 18. What, who has the uh, who has the better dex? Faza or Urev? I, Urev Faza has plus is, three. Faza has plus two. So okay, so Urev will go first. Faza will go at seven. Now let's do this. Okay. So. Paws dives for one of the Mothmen. And the Mothman, you see as it shakes out its its um wings and uncurls them, takes off into the air, ready to attack Paws. Oh. Because it's coming at her, and there that are demons, sense. and I'm sorry, because I feel bad for attacking another being, another an animal. Um, um Pause also has armor of Agathis because I cast it on myself and we're connected through that spell. Okay, so pause has uh, okay, awesome. So, um, it flies towards her and it's going to, you see it's little, it's, um, Provostas kind of rolls up and then kind of tucks under this flap in its mouth and these sharp teeth these like jagged sharp teeth kind of come out and it goes to yeah. and it's going to take the damage of whatever happens there when it attacks uh it's going to do one bite attack and then two stingers on pots i'm real sorry about this it is okay um a 21 to hit 21 hits they're okay. probably all gonna hit she's got 12 ac Perfect. So here's what's gonna happen. She's gonna take she's gonna take 13 piercing damage, and then okay. she's gonna take one poison damage. Okay. And then Yeah. Yep, yeah, still haven't burned through armor of Agathis. Um okay. it takes that thing will take 15 cold damage because I only okay. did it at 13. Oh, wait, so will I do the other attacks and then let me know. <laughs> okay. Um then there's a 10 to hit, which doesn't hit, and a 26 to hit. God damn! Yeah, that'll do yes. it. Um, and she's gonna take another six piercing damage and then another eight poison damage. Um, yes. and then I need yes. her to do a constitution saving throw. Okay, let me do her hit points. She's she's only to her actual hit points, she's only actually take 13 damage. Um, and armor of Gathas will proc twice, so that they will take 15 cold damage. And you said a con yes. save plus three. Not terrible. <laughs> if you roll a two, five. So she's poisoned for a minute. Oh. Um, and it will take 15? 30. Because it's 30 15 damage. every time she gets hit. It, okay. Then it takes up. 30 cold damage. Nice. And just right? hisses. You hear like a <laughs> coming from it. And its wings do that like icky buzzing sound that bugs make when they fly. Because it's not, mm -hmm. that's just what I imagine all things fly like. Uh, Damascus, it is your turn. All right. Pause. You want to get, get the hell out of there? Um, I'm going to have pause disengage and come pick me up. Instead of like, she's disengaging for sure, but what happens is her for her disengage is she as it goes she goes and then her wings just go up and she fa just falls to the ground for a second and then slows oh. herself 
right before she does like it's like a death drop um and she's got a stinger like right there and she's like comes to you and just no baby pet her and go all right let's get him back and i climb up on her can you roll me a d20 to see if she's about to let you climb her after she just got her ass handed to her yeah all right i'll let you do that you climb (laughs) up on her all right i mean i'm not going anywhere yet i just want to be able to direct attacks at me instead of her in the future um i will bonus action what do i got here sorry i have a lot of things um we're gonna go simple i am going to throw a first level radiant hex on the one that hit my baby here so uh which one was that was that red guy to the left the orange one the red one this one here okay to our left yeah Radiant hex. Wait, hang on, hang on, wait. Let me. I actually, I did the smart thing, and I and I labeled them all. It was Mothman one, so it's the blue one. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Got it. I will throw a radiant hex up on it, and then Eldritch blast three times now. Hey. Bam! bam. Wow, those are some god awful rolls. Uh, (laughs) Four, a six, and an eight. Let's see. Um. They hit. They might still hit. That is on the glass. Uh, 16, 18, 20. So two of them hit. Okay. You I'll It take. dodges the first one and then you hit it with the next two, knocking it kind of down and out of the air a little bit. Okay. All right. Not expecting the fight, so I didn't have all of my fancy stuff out. Let's go. It, it takes a total of. Oh, man. Oh, I hit to re-roll once. Nice. 15 plus 6 is 21 plus 14 is 21 plus 14 25 35 damage. Radiant God damage. God damn. Okay, cool. Uh, you oh, you light it up and yeah. It does a little bit more damage than than you feel like it should be doing. Ooh, mm. radiant damage is good. That was all radiant damage, just just as a heads up. Yeah, I'm I'm aware. Thank okay. you. I would also like to have it moved back twenty feet. As okay. I do repelling blast on it. Fair enough. One, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. You just knock it backwards. All right. Is that your What's turn? Here? Uh yeah. That's that's me. All right. As you're doing that, Ant Man number one, which is what I'm gonna call them because there is no way I'm pronouncing any of these. <laughs> um lun- not lunges, but runs forward. Let's see. What can you guys do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two claw (laughs) ten. Oh, I I messed these up. One, this one is the I I messed these up. And the the Mothmen are the Antmen, and the Antmen are the Mothmen, which I'm not gonna do, um, because I'm not I'm not fixing this. But these ones are the ones that have wings. When I labeled them, I labeled them incorrectly. These guys are the oh, ones the straight ones. in front of us. The ant are, are the ones that have wings, but you know what? It's fine. They're going to okay. be flying ant and and okay. um, it's going to look at you guys and its wings come out from beside it and it kind of sticks its butt out to the side and then the wings begin to glow as it does a little dance for you guys. <laughs> Ooh. Like a firefly. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to need everyone that's in within 30 feet of it to do a DC 15 charisma saving throw <laughs> or be charmed uh, for a minute. Is Ant-Man yeah. the, the teal one or the purple one? 
this is number one. So wait, let me just make sure I'm doing these right. Number one. Okay. So it is the teal one. Too too many op- too many open things. Yeah. Uh, did, can you guys see the labels? No. 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 So it's number one. So it's the purple one. Okay. Oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it'll be winter and phase up and um, gilly. Yes, I've been charmed by the stupid ant thing. Uh, did, yeah. you add, did you add plus <laughs> That's five? Embarrassing. From, did, did you add plus five from Winter's Aura? Yeah, Winter's Aura. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, okay. I'm good. You said 15, right? Yeah. I am not charmed, I'm charmed by, by the glowy ant dance. <laughs> <laughs> what about Winter? Uh, winter rolled a 10. Total well, plus ro- plus five. Ro- roll the five plus five. Oh. Okay, so winter's like oh, they're the they're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, winter, also, I was almost drawn in as well. You gotta just look away, look away. I can't oh, look winter. away. Oh, no. Um, winter has <laughs> a plus take... fourteen charisma saving throw. Oh shit! Sorry, it's plus four. Sorry, my bad. I rolled a five. Oh, the wrong modifier. It's <laughs> the wrong modifier. Um, okay. So. It's, he got an like, eighteen, so okay, like right. so he's, he's fine. Like, he's like he's like I can't look away, I can't look away, and then you're like, no, really, look away, and he's like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I look oh, away. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Totally fine. Um, so I'm going to uh, roll to see if they get this back because it's it's recharges on a five or a six, and they do not. Ah. But everyone who passed takes eleven psychic damage. Damn. As what you saw was actually horrible. All right. Sorry, how much? Eleven. 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 Awesome. Uh, and that is their turn. It so it was, is... that was just winter and gilly, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just winter and gilly, and taking its cue from its uh its buddy over there. This one runs forward to tw- about fifteen feet, and it's gonna try and shake its bomb bomb. And get you guys to love it as well. So, everyone, give me charisma saving throws. Right. So the only one who doesn't get the bonus is a laywin. A laywin is too far back. Yeah, but I have no, an advantage I, against yeah, being yeah. charmed anyway. So I'm um, yeah, same. I'm good on this one. That's this phase. Of. Seventeen plus whatever. You're good. Okay. You said it was a charisma saving throw. Yep. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You're fine. Twenty eight. You're fine. Uh, pause. Faza thought, oh, I forgot I have to do pause. Uh, Faza also passed. Pause will almost certainly fail. Pause is like, I want to eat the bugs, but it's a nice bug. Bug. The bugs makes me happy. Pause has a minus one. Oh, baby. But okay, he's... maybe he might still pass. Uh, 16 on the dice for 15 total. He's fine. And then winter stand. Yeah, okay. So, Everyone uh, takes 13 psychic damage. Man. Yeah. yeah, Winter got a 29 and a rep got a 22. So yeah. So psychic damage for passing. And it does a little shika shika shika. And you see its little wings begin to almost recharge with that energy that it just used. I mean, not for nothing, but things got pretty decent moves. <laughs> Maybe uh, out. a lay one. Disco ant. Cool, cool, cool. I wish it would not have moved, but it's fine. Uh <laughs> Fireball. We're still I'm still gonna still gonna hold on. Let me 5, 10, 15. Winter, you're in the way now. Um okay, cool. I am going Sorry. to let's see. I'll push this guy back again. We are going to No, can I can I do no, it'll still hit people. That's the whole bit. Never mind. That's the whole bit. Is that a fireball will still hit the people next to them. Okay. No, you just throw it further away. It's right there. I guess I can Or you could do it at do it at one of the other ones. Yeah, I can. I'll go ahead and do that. I just wanted to, I really wanted to hit both of them and then he moved and I was like, fight me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a fourth level fireball at our uh, purple. So the first Ant Man. Um, can I get a dex saving throw from him? Yep. And you can get one from those, those, uh, 
you you don't see them yet and you will when they catch on fire uh they are <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the ant-man right or are you going for the math moth man uh the ant-man the ant-man okay so yeah you will when they they set on fire when they catch on but fire, there's a bunch right. of little uh like moths and butterflies hanging okay out i wondered there. what those were on the map i was like what yeah. is that texture <laughs> deck save deck save okay yeah 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 suspicious 22 for Mon- ah, for ant-man sucker. i think you'll hit green guy too green guy are the butterflies and i told you that they were about to go on fire nope mm-hmm. i met green ant guy green ant gone green green daniel i need you to fucking learn your colors it <laughs> me the it just guy, drives me insane someone that's I- it's it's 20 feet but it's i mean it, that's yeah, right so, on it yeah 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 i feel like yeah, a giant yeah, ball of fire well. would I'll, I'll do one for them as well Purple. you should how far yeah that you'll get that and the button yeah. uno momento while we do them noise yeah say, it, five these butterflies go up in flames um and now the other ant man dex save they're pretty dexterous nine they're pretty dexterous nine okay uh nine. so you hit a you hit one and the the butterflies the other one jumps out of the way but you know half half damage okay do i hit gilly let me look, look if back. it's i am potentially close if I'm trying to hit the teal, the teal one Five, too. 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you do. Gilly, deck save. Ugh. Cool. With advantage, you have danger sense. I don't like, like this new lady. Um, 12. <laughs> oh, with advantage? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that was worse. 12. <laughs> uh, did you add winters? Winters with No, you. what's winters? Uh, plus, plus five. five. So 17, is that still plus? 17. Meets it, beats it. <gasps> okay, so you'll take half. Excellent. Uh, it was 35 in total. So, jeez, Louise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 35. Your... Do I get to reroll a one or no? <laughs> yeah, do you have something for that? No, <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> just want to. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling a one sucks. Can I just do it? <laughs> I don't want to. I feel that's so hard though. Uh, let's do that. And where are my little butterflies? Come here. Okay, so yeah. So, sorry, Gilly Gilly made it though, so oops. That was, that was kind of, I was like, well, the teal guy is too close to us, so it's like, oh, if I get too close, I'm gonna hit a party member, but Gilly. Mm-hmm. Gilly You're like, it. I don't even know who Gilly is, so it's fine. Oh, well. Like, you, you know, know what? You're part of it's my on brand. Yeah, it's yeah. so, yeah. I she'll, told she'll you guys she's a demon. She shoots fire. God damn it, demon lady! Uh, She'll do that uh, uh, shit, level, demon uh, lady. Fireball and get him, and it's yeah. Amazing. And <laughs> half of these butterflies drop out of the air. <laughs> demon lady, watch oh, out for Gilly. Oh, nice. oh, sorry, I didn't calculate that correctly. I suppose I thought she was a little further away, but you know, magic. Huh? That's how it goes. <laughs> and uh, winter, unpredictable. Turn, yeah. The face and needs some smashing. Yeah, do it. He takes exactly two steps forward <laughs> bam, bam. before just kind of shrugging his shoulders a little bit and letting Vitor's forge hammer fall down into his hand and then just one handed swings it up, trying to s- slap into what I'm assuming is the chin of this ant faced creature. Uh, so gotta find my ads. Nineteen to hit. That hits. Cool. And oh, uh, I'm looking at. I was looking at Winter's AC, and I was like, "Oh my god, it doesn't hit!" No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, followed by a twenty-four. Uh, for the yeah. se- second attack, yeah. Oh, so, for the second attack, yeah, yeah. Yes. So he he sort of like one hand brings it up, X with the chin, and he's like. Oh, these are kind of easier to hit than I thought. He pulls his second hand up and goes squishy bug and pulls it down just in like a two hand swing straight down. Oh, I fucked up. Last 
they're resistant to fire damage, but it's fine. I'm not going to change it. Oop. But they're resistant to fire damage. You smash. Awesome. How much damage do you do? Uh, so he one handed the forge hammer up, so it's one d eight, and he two handed it down, which is one d ten. So, uh, just give me a second. So plus three, plus 12, uh, tw- 21 points of damage. Noise. You start wailing on this creature and you hear a crack Ugh. in the armor that it seemed that seems to surround its body. You can't see it yet, but you're starting to hear things shift and break. Mothman 2. Let's see which one is Mothman 2. Mothman 2 <laughs> is this one over here. Okay, cool. So, Mothman number two is still very much in the I would like to eat it phase of this <laughs> fight. Uh, put them in my mouth. So, it's proboscis rolls up and kind of goes under that flap, and you see the teeth extend down. Almost like one of those goblin sharks. And what is it going to do? Right? Uh, It's going to... Two stinger attacks. So, it's going to fly over to uh, Winter. And it's going to make three attacks on him. It's going to attempt to bite him and stinger him twice, which he doesn't know he's a paladin, so it's fine. Uh, let's see. 24 to hit. Dang, motherfucker. Yep. 11 and oh. a 16. No. Nope. So one of those hits. He takes 11 piercing damage and six poison damage. Okay. That's his turn. Uh, Muriel. Gilly, it's your turn. My turn. All right. Um, I'm going to try to summon my tentacle and see if that works. Your tentacle appears. Oh, yay. Okay. So let me let me draw it on the map here. I'll do a little... It's going to go just right out of this little... That's a rectangle. I didn't need that. Whatever. Right out of this little wall. Okay. And then it's okay. going to do its little. Sorry, I got to remember. I think it's 1d6. I got to check. Because I went to a different page. No, tentacle of deeps. What is it? 1d8. Okay. So that guy's going to do five cold damage. It's going to just kind of split out of the rock wall. And just grab the little dude. And Who's it going and... for? Um, Which one? Big. The big green one. Big green one? I think okay, that's so Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Green Ant-Man? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ant-Man we're going to grab that two. dude. And is grappling him? Yeah. Um, no, it's just cold damage, but its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Did you do an attack roll? An attack roll for that? Um. Oh, shoot. Yeah, melee spell attack. Okay. That is. Does my tentacle have modifiers? It doesn't. It's your spell yeah, attack a... bonus. Thirteen. Sorry, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to actually cast spells. Thirteen plus five. <laughs> uh, it's, it's eighteen. That it? Okay, cool. You so that's five cold damage. Uh, five cold damage, or does it do damage when it grapples, or are you um, whipping it? I'm just, it didn't give me a grapple option. It just says it does the cold damage and then also reduces its speed. So I think it's a like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Magical cold tentacle because it's special. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of the, the Everett's black tentacle. Oh, yeah. It's cool. So it can grapple it if I, you want. Sure, why not? Let's try it out. <laughs> let's try it out. Let's, let's do, let's do a, he'll give you an athletics check. Since you hit him, to see if he can get out of there. Okay, my spell but save it's gonna is twenty two, so he's probably not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna... 
All right. That doesn't what make else? sense for a tentacle, though. Okay. And then I'm just going to run up and trident him. Although, actually, okay. I just realized recently I can throw my trident. That's the thing I you can, can do. I've never done that yet. So I'm going to do that this time, actually. I'm going to throw my trident. Fucking... If you go to Nat 1, you will be skewering winter because it's funny. Oh, ah! cool. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, 12 plus. It's 12 plus 11. It's a lot. I agree. I think that hits. <laughs> yeah. So you just, you wind up, you throw your tentacle, and it, like, you know that in the movie, in those, like, cartoon movies when it, like, gets the right in between one of those, like, the neck? Yeah. Uh-huh. Just, and it's little pinchers? Yeah. Got him. Um, so that yeah. is, and I'm using the title search thing, too, so that's going to be... Ooh, I think three d sixes. I'm just gonna get lightninged. You're lucky we okay. switched these around because mm-hmm. <laughs> because the original ones are also resistant to lightning. Oh, cool. Um, so but I fucked up for the better. Sixteen damage. That's sixteen damage. I did forget to rage. Unfortunately, can I do that now uh, or? <laughs> you raged. You can bonus action. I raged. raged okay, as well. cool. So add your add, I think three uh, to that. So, so it's it would be nineteen. It's two. Um, two. Okay, eighteen damage, and then I'll just run up on him and kind of yank it out from where it was stuck in his face and just stick it back in again. Let's see, <laughs> and that also hits, I believe. Seventeen plus eleven. Okay. You notice that Gilly. In the fight, in the fights that you had with her beforehand to now, she's moving a lot quicker and a lot more liquid when she fights. So it everything flows much better. Yes. Okay, and then that's freaking math. Oh my god, eleven plus so that's fifteen plus seven. Twenty-two. It's twenty-two. Plus an additional two, so that's twenty four on the ne- on the other hit. We're just gonna jam it back into it, and it gets zzzz, electrocuted. There's a giant crack when you pull it back in its armor. Yeah. It is looking so rough right now. Get wrecked, Ant. Get wrecked. Is that your turn? That is my turn. Yes, and I will. Yes. Sorry, I gotta move myself here. Um. Because Winter is sometimes confusing to me, and I don't always remember all of his abilities, um, there's mm-hmm. this Im- improved Divine Smite thing on his attacks that I forgot about. Uh-huh. Um, and so there should have been an additional nine radiant damage on Winter Strike. So I don't know whether that makes Caro's attack possibly a little bit more deadly. It does. It's It's like... It's so close. So, it's um, under 25 hit points, guys. It's so <laughs> rough. Okay, good. Okay. It's so close. If I had an extra um, attack, I could just kind of kick it a little bit. <laughs> don't you? She took two. No, I did two attacks. Oh, you yeah. did two. Sorry. Two attacks and a bonus, bonus action. And a whip slap. The uh... In my head, that tentacle attack is like somebody wound up a towel and just yeah. That's how I picture it every time. 100%. What remains of these little butterflies? Um, oh, no, we're at swarm number two. Swarm number two flies over here on top of you, Alewin. Oh, good. And they're going to do their thing. That's on top of you, Damascus, and Alewin. Okay? We'll get, and they are we'll going get to... Bugs. Get out of here. They're crawling all over you. You feel wings all over the Ooh, place. Gross. Um, they have point and poison, swarm, and weight of wings. Ooh. You gotta have some words with bomb. His butterflies are getting in your face now? Right? Stupid demon Rude. butterflies. So, while they are in your space, guys, um, you are... Your speed has been reduced to half speed. Uh, you must make a dexterity save of uh, a DC 13, everyone. So, Alewin and 
uh, Damascus and Paws, who is trying to eat them. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, right. Fair. Uh, Get him, Paws. 30 20 for Damascus. Paws might have failed. And that one. <laughs> that one. Oh, no. That one. Okay. 10 for Did- Paws. 10 for pause. Okay, so you both fail. Um, so what happens here is you're blinded. Pause and Alewin are blinded. Uh there are there are too many bugs all over you. They are just not there's just there's too many. They're crawling all over you, they're in your face, you can't see anything. Um, your speed is half speed as well. Um, and on a success, you're immune to the swarm's blindness for 24 hours. So Bum, you're deal with fine. your bugs, and ah. they're all suddenly see through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly what happens. Like, fine. Uh, the swarm makes a bite attack against every target in its space. So, all three of you Ooh. are going to uh, attempt to be bitten, which is probably not going to be that many. Attacks is plus three to hit. This hit is 22. Okay, so. You won't hit me. Uh, Damascus, 13. Is- no. Uh Alewin, nine. No. Pause. Five. No. Guys. <gasps> Would have been cool. But that's fine. <laughs> Nobody gets anything done. Can I choose uh, to let them hit me? <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> just to find out. Yeah. You just like put a finger out there to see what happens? Sure. Yeah. Um, so you take <laughs> 17 piercing damage. Oh, I regret this immediately. Damn. <laughs> and only because it's not at half health, the other things do not happen. So okay. that is their turn. Now it, takes 15 oh, cold it damage. is at half health. Oh. No, that's the other one. That this one has the other touched. one. You know, I okay. I messed up when I gave damage, but it's fine. So they're gonna take 15 cold damage. Cold damage. <laughs> that's why I I you son of a bitch. But me. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh wait. They're vo- fuck me. They're vulnerable to cold. Yeah. 30 cold damage. Hell They're yeah. Dead. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Go bite me. Clump. <laughs> Boom. I explode in ice. Winter, this one's for you. As just shards of ice go <laughs> flying into all of the butterflies. I should have. I put I messed up on that one. Uh the other half health one, which is now full health, apparently, uh, is gonna fly over. Wow. Okay, it's gonna fly over, and it's gonna get right there over uh, Faza and and uh, Arev, and they're gonna do the same thing. So, uh, because that's all they do. Um, I need your dexterity saving throws. Faza, sixteen for Faza. Sixteen, she's fine. Nine, nine. You're blinded. Um, let's see here. They're gonna now bite you two. Five for Faza, guys, and a twenty-two for her. <laughs> oh, that hits for sure. Freaking oh, hits. Um, Bugs. and they do sixteen piercing damage, and you're fine. So that's your. T- that's their turn, Arev. It's your turn, but you're also blinded. There's got to be a way. Can you, like, let me read and see if you can, like, try again. Oh, no. I don't I don't believe so. Creature succeeds Might on just a be that... immune. No. Might they have to leave. blinded while he's in that space. So if he moves yeah. out of that space, he won't be blind anymore. Yeah. And you have half speed. I think I chipped a tooth eating candy. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. That's just what you need. Back to the dentist. It's very sharp. Okay, so the <clears throat> the yellow ones are gone, right? Yes, I'm gonna delete the green ones are gone. Yeah. Let me just go back to the map before I start talking. Yes, the yellow, the yellow ones are ones. gone. <laughs> Perfect. Then if that's the case, I still So if I have half speed, then I have 15 feet. So 5, 10. Uh, 
All right. So as a as a res like batting at these butterflies that are swarming around, he's trying to figure out what's going on. He's getting frustrated. He's kind of like losing his sense of like where he is. Um he's gonna I'm I'm gonna roll a D4 because I can't see. So I I want to know which direction he'd try and walk in. Uh, okay, so he tries to walk forward. So walks forward. He's still in the bugs, still swatting at them, kind of going, and uh, takes another step forward, leaving the swarm. Um, and then that frees him from blindness when he steps out but his movement speed is still halved no you're out oh okay so it's just it took double movement to get out so then moving five feet took 10 so i'd have 20 feet of movement left um i moved down like I, I rush over and I see as Gilly's been like poking and prodding and stabbing this uh this creature, I kind of come round and I as I sort of like sling myself around their shoulder and get a view of the ant-like creature that's in front of me, I drop Amelia's bow into my hand. Mm -hmm. And I point towards the giant crack that um has been like wedged in by Gilly palm my hand down and pull back that force arrow drawn by magic out of Amelia's bow that uh, that I can summon. And I just look and I try and aim at the crack to, to take a shot. <laughs> a good old crack shot, if you will. Uh, so nine plus my bow. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 to hit. Perfect. Um, so... Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, so, seven plus five. So, that's going to be 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Yep. Oh, you're nice. so close. You're so close. There's 12. They have 12 hit points left. This has got it. Awesome. Um, then I will... And my turn. Because I don't really have any bonus actions. So my turn's up. All right. I don't know where the mods are. Faza. Max is looking for the mods. Up we go. Uh, Faza will try and get the hell out of the way of these bugs. Stupid fucking butterflies. She's fine. So, She's yeah, not blinded. Not... Yes, but they. The still doesn't yeah, like yeah, They are annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is fair. They are bugs. A 10. 15, 20, and then she'll say, move, demon lady! <laughs> and move through uh, a Lewin spot to go right <laughs> there beside her. Okay. <laughs> and she will She's cast so lightning bolt straight lightning down bolt, this lightning line. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Just a massive blast of lightning uh, we'll say we'll do it at. Oh, nice! Five, you got five. two of them in in your two, three of them. Three of them. I got all. Well three. done. I saw that line and went, "Oh, this is gonna be fun." Oh yeah, uh, real good. And she's gonna do it at fourth level, so they all need to make a deck save. <laughs> that's what, that's what you were gonna do, Pi. <laughs> nice. That was gonna be my next turn. <laughs> she has five feet of movement left. She can move to the side, and you can finish him off. Then, yeah. <laughs> all right. So that is Mothman two, Mo Ant Man one, and Ant Man two. Let's do this. Yeah, that was Mothman. gonna be my first question. Was like, hey, can I get if I move, and then they're in line? Yeah. All yeah. right. Mothman one fails. Ant Man Eight. one. Twenty two. Ant Man That's... two is nineteen. Uh, you know what? Let's. And eh, no, it's fine. Uh, so the <laughs> last two pass. 19 and 22 both pass. Her spell save is 17. So, what's the damage? It will be 
96. Yep. Let me just roll it on the internet. Ooh, that's a good roll. 40 damage. Yeah. 40 damage and Ooh. 20 for the other ones. Okay. Mothman 1 doesn't even realize what's happening before it is disintegrated. Good. Uh, nice. Eight Min 1 tries to, uh, kind of dives into the dirt and is, you just like, show the cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, dives into the dirt, barely makes it out of the way before getting uh like a a residual spark hits him and just uh and he takes twenty damage. Ant Man two is like, bitch, I got this. I'm quick. Jumps out of the way and that same spark jumps from Ant Man one onto Ant Man two and he dies instantly. And you can smell oh. just cooked bug. Gross. <laughs> That's. Unpleasant. Uh, well done, Faisa. Thanks. <laughs> and then she'll use her last five feet of movement to just move back a little bit. <laughs> and she she looks <laughs> away at, at, at Demon Lady and is just like, <laughs> <laughs> "Do better." Amazing. And I didn't even hurt anyone. Um, <laughs> and she didn't hurt anybody. She just, <laughs> Gilly passed. <laughs> <laughs> Gilly begs to differ as she she smacks on it. Hey, Gilly uh, should have been faster. <laughs> should have gotten you out of the way. You have to know. <laughs> you need evasion. Uh, she, needs to lean, the, she needs to lean more into being water so that it would hurt That's true. <laughs> um, who's still alive on this map? Ant Man 1. Uh, one ant and one off. Death Butterfly Swarm 1. In Mothman Ooh. 2. Okay. I will so... delete the other ones because I realize that as I'm saying this dumb shit, one. none of it matters because they are all <laughs> right there. Um, so Ant Man 1 or 2, let me check. I f- f- am not good at using math. Math. Maps, not masks. Okay. Uh, there we go. So there. Okay. Uh let's go. I'm going to just keep pushing this guy away. Uh, (laughs) I'm going to go after this guy over here, and I'm just going to blast him three (laughs) times. Just keep pushing him back. (laughs) Deal with him later. Go away. You attacked my cat. They are. Uh, And he's still got my hex on him, too. So, yeah, Yeah. three Eldritch Blasts. Uh, Okay, eight, three, 16. Um, None of those hit. No, no, no. That's without accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so the lowest one is 15. And then I've got a 20 and a 28. Those two hit. Two hits. Got it. Let me just get him. He's going to be off screen in a second. 5, 10, <laughs> just 15, keep 20. Around. There he, he's right there. Okay. 15, 24. Um, hang on, wait. That's not right. 10, 16, 16 and 14 is 30 damage. 30 damage. Radiant fuck. damage. Okay. It matters. So she's got like 10 hit points left because of that. <laughs> That's Ant Man. I feel like Hang if on. we push him all the way off the map, he should just be gone. <laughs> yeah, away. right? That, that's you know not gone. He's, he's just not gone yet. He's like right on the edge. Right there. on the edge. But he's edging. He's okay. Ewies. <laughs> Ewies. What? Um, so 30, da- you did 30 damage? Correct. So, okay, okay. So he's got he's got he's under half hit points. You're fine. Uh, is that your turn? Swipe, pause. Will swipe with uh, disadvantage because she's poisoned. At the butterflies. Yes, at the butterflies right next to us. She's gonna try and eat one. Uh, Pauses gets... jump running and jumping and trying to like catch them. Mm-hmm. I'm on her back, so I'm like, as a, that's why I missed that one Eldritch Blast. He's like, all right, just stop uh, jumping up. <laughs> just sends three wild shots out. Um, she missed two attacks. Which, I mean, this is so uncouth, Olewin. Like, your Damascus would never, would never look this, this dumb. Your Damascus oh. sucks, and also he looks awesome, not dumb. Embarrassing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That is a 16 on her swipe attack. Yeah. Bat one of the butterflies out of the air. (laughs) 
and a... that's one of the butterflies into her mouth. <laughs> into her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and a that's a low roll. Twelve on the beak. Okay. So wait, twelve on the beak? What? Yeah, she gets to attack. She gets two attacks. Okay, one so twelve to chomp and one to whack. Okay, so she just hits it with the claws. She tries to hit it into her mouth, but misses. She just knocks it to the ground. She tries to bite it, and it falls out of her mouth. She went to go eat it. It touched her tongue, and she went bleh. And now she's <laughs> trying to rip the <laughs> rip rip the wings off. Uh, that is eleven slashing damage. Eleven slashing damage. Perfect. Yeah, she's trying. She's ripped a wing wing off. Um, it is Ant Man. Ant-Man's turn. He's the only Ant-Man now. And uh, I think he's not going to try and dance for you right now. He's just going to run up to <laughs> to uh, Arev full speed and he's going to make his attacks. He's going, motherfucking stupid son of a bitch, Jessica. You're magic resistant. Fuck me. Advantage on all those rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Um... He's going to make a bite and two claw attacks at you. Still very much trying to to get some dinner. Uh, 17 to hit a rev. And a 15 and a 10. None of those? I don't no, think. They, no, they all miss. He's miss not very smart or very accurate with what he does. He really just relied on the other, you know, the other me- members of his party to get food for him. Um, that's his turn. Uh, Elaine. Amazing. Um, the uh, the little swarm. We're gonna we're gonna move. We're gonna Elaine's gonna move a little bit, just kind of here, and we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna need a dex saving throw from our uh little green swarm of butterflies here. So. All right, let's see. Here. Yeah. Death butterfly. <laughs> Make your dex. How can you only have like one dex? You're Good. fucking. You're Bu- so tiny bugs. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> fourteen. <laughs> what was it? Fourteen. Okay, well they fail and they're about to get roasted with eight d six of a third level <laughs> fireball. She's not fucking around. No, <laughs> but I think well, that'll be okay, fine. So, so here's the thing: we, you guys above table, don't know this, but uh, her time magic doesn't work down here, and I have a lot of time spells. Yeah, so, no. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, fair. cool. I have like three spells that do damage, and one of those oh, is limited. magic missile. Like, <laughs> um, they're be, they're vulnerable. So yeah, thirty three. They're points dead. Of, they're killed. dead. They just, <laughs> you. 33 would have been like 60 damage. They had 32 health points. They're dead. They just roast. Amazing. And a whole um, bunch of these little carcasses fall to the floor. And I don't know if this is relevant for them because I don't know if they have memories or anything. Oh my God, uh, hang on. But their their lives flash before their eyes, literally. Their lives. <laughs> like, as we were like, like memories. We were born yesterday. Yeah. It was like <laughs> we being in the cocoon. The whole 24 hours. Not that they know how long that is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bas- basically, their entire existence was like, ooh, look at the pretty light out here. That's cool. And they're like, ooh, look at that pretty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You hear from the Mothman that's almost off this this ledge, like, it's screaming in Infernal. Those are its children, and they're all dead now. Um, oh no! <laughs> Didn't attack my cat. Baby <laughs> That's awful. That's my whole turn. Winter. <laughs> Winter very calm. Arabella. Don't oh, give them names. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Winter very calmly walks up beside a rev. And just slugs that hammer into this thing. Attacking twice. As he's doing that, he's like, you looked really distressed earlier, and I can't figure out why. Um, you did kind of uh, yell out, ow, and I, you didn't seem to have hit anything um, as he's attacking. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's like literally no cares in the world. It's just his yeah. muscles are just doing the just work. Yeah, it, it is all muscle memory right now as he's talking to you. I really just need to check in on you right now. It's like a I got like a 23 and a 25 to hit for those. Yeah, Winter is just out of like he's talking to you while smashing completely <laughs> like not even paying attention and hit this thing twice in the head. Yeah, he's it's it's just like just so calm. St- second nature to him, like totally calm. Yeah. And Arev is just kind of like, shouldn't you just? I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, you should. And it's, <laughs> it's, okay, that was impressive, but at the same time, like, I, it was just kind of a headache. Are you what sure you're okay, though? I just, I'm really worried about you. It, it kind of felt like what you did to that thing just now, um, but mostly recovered. Um, as he dealt 12 plus 3, uh, 15 plus 27 points of damage total. Amazing. As he murders. <laughs> as he murders it. It's, it's literally, he's just like nonchalantly just like, wham, like pest control. Like, no, I'm just checking yeah, in on you. Deal. A red is like looking back and forth between the two of them being like, <laughs> look, I know I'm handy with a bow, but God... God damn it, Winter. Like, at least he's, like, wiping, like, bug guts off his face. He's just like, uh, you... like ne- <clears throat> next time, two hand swing away, away from your friends. Sorry. <laughs> I I will. Yeah. Okay, my bad. I was just preoccupied. Um, <laughs> At the end of his turn, it is going to be Mothman's turn. And he's going to look at the carnage that has just taken place. And he's going to turn and fly away. <laughs> He Fair runs. Enough. And Smart that enough. is Random the, the map. end of combat. <laughs> yep. Uh, and I think this is where we will take our five minute break before we come back. Mascus just yells at him. It's what you get for attacking my cat. <laughs> Eric I learned anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I, I don't speak inter- infernal. I have no idea what he's saying. Yeah, right? <laughs> no, you don't. He's sobbing. Arev casts a glance back at Alewin as as Winter was like checking on him about the headache, and he just kind of like stares for a moment, but then he looks away. That was very sus. What you just did that did right there, but I'm not going to push you because I know that you'll talk to me <laughs> when you're ready. Well, I mean, Very if I don't, Arian does right. Exactly. <laughs> Winter is so emotionally mature. Yeah. Right. <laughs> For somebody who's been alive for three months. Alewin is making notes with uh, runes in the air. She didn't take out her book this time, but then they disappear. That is so handy. Okay. Anybody mind if we rest for like 15 minutes? Yeah, I could use a nap. I'm not feeling great. (laughs) All right, immediately crouches down. (laughs) (sighs) We will be back. Where everybody has taken a short rest so that they can get things like their wild shapes back um, after killing a whole bunch of a whole bunch of bug children, um, because that's how we're talking today. Uh, anyways, you continue on, I assume, or is there anything you guys want to do? I would like to ask a question of the demon lady who led us into this canyon. Same. Hey! Did you um, know we were going to get attacked by giant bugs? Do I look like a demon to you? What do I look like to you out of curiosity? Do I look like a person who knows what a demon looks like? Uh, what do I look like to you? Actually, you look kind of um well done. Like a fancy wizard pretty All right. thing. Okay, so you can see... Uh, my hair is purple. I have long ears. Uh-huh, Were yes. you worried that you looked like something else? Well, I don't know. You keep referring to me as a demon. So there just, are lots of different you know, types of demons, I assume. Fair, but typically... Look, they I've never been to hell before. Like You'd be surprised. I mean, this wasn't planned this year. Hmm. I don't exactly know why that happened actually 
Do May I do an insight check? Rolling. I would like to. I was do able to often. get... I did a bad job. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, no, I don't know anything. That's a, that's okay. I mean, she's talking out loud, legit. Like she's, I was able to make it from the estate all the way to where we met, and nothing happened. Huh. We should uh, keep going. If you don't have any more questions, you can talk. And you know, as we're getting out of this area, yes, yes, yes. We can walk like, and interrogate, sure. Hmm. All right, interrogate. <laughs> Is um, there a reason that you tried to set the party on fire, or a slight miscalculation? Please. Is all that was, to be honest. Some things down here are a little odd, so just sort of readjusting myself is all. Not intentional. Well mm. done, by the way. Um, it was. And she's like, like looking at Gilly as they're they're walking. She's like, I forgot your name. <laughs> Gilly. Right. I will make note of that. Sorry. A lot has been going on. Gilly. Good good job, by the way. Um uh Faisal looks apologies. at Gilly and goes, Do you feel like flirting with her now? Not if I'm being honest, not particularly. So there you go. <laughs> Just a lot to adjust to. Um, right, and you weren't exactly. Anyway, shall we continue? She's. I love how over. fast Gilly uh, went from <laughs> she's pretty to fuck this bitch. <laughs> Gilly's got priorities. <laughs> All it takes is being set on fire once. To One time. Off of somebody. It's weird. A really cool. Wow, you off, how ironically. It was only a little fire. <laughs> Oh, you are. <laughs> Twasn't intentional. <laughs> but I'm... Um, Too good. Um, well, um, speaking of flirting, Faiza, you <laughs> did great. That one moment with the... With the... And the... Jeez. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> also, you're, it was really impressive the way that you threw your, your trident. Thank you. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You get a you get a there there pat from Faza as you're walking along. <laughs> I just tap Damascus on the shoulder as I like walk on down the path, and I just go. <laughs> just keep walking. <laughs> just by <laughs> Oogie. <laughs> We're having fun. We have our port. It's fine. Fair enough. <laughs> As you're walking, Faiza takes out a pen and just kind of writes on your arm, can throw trident. <laughs> Amazing. On the trident arm. On the oh, trident yeah, arm, right? Arm. <laughs> With Next, oh God, like, what a good idea. Thank you. Makes like a makes like, like a tiny a stick, stick figure, figure <laughs> with like a a, like a like a little trident, like a distance away from them. Just, just in case. Okay. Just in case. Next time we get to a tattoo shop, you got to do this again, and then they can do it over it, and they can have it and in your hand. Right. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's On top right. of it, I believe there was something. I can't remember what it is you wrote before, but it was like life lessons. <laughs> like you're yeah, right. no, Gilly's got a list canonically oh, of things girl. she needs to remember. Oh. Yeah, don't talk about another girl during another date with yes, another girl. Yes, yeah. <laughs> don't talk about Posey on a date. Period. Uh -huh. Oh, do not bring her yeah. up. Oh, BB. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all, all the life lessons. I love it. Uh, it's great. Does this area look the same as it did when Alewin came through here the first time? Um. Yes. You know where okay. you are. Okay. You know that. Just making not too sure. Far away. Yeah. Okay. No. You're. You're completely like. You've taken th okay. this path before, especially when you guys were setting up as to where the they were going to come, um, okay. or where they would come from. You okay. knew, like you and the cunning came and mapped this out. Okay, 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 okay. Um, um, how far are they away from like the manor at this point? You're Roughly. a little bit outside of town. Um, and speaking of which, like, uh, you can see it on the horizon coming up. Okay. Um. The town uh, that 
you're coming to is called Mazine. Um, it's built in a valley surrounded by jagged obsidian mountains that reach high into the red sky. The buildings are made of black stone and seem to twist and contort in unnatural angles. The streets are narrow and winding. Uh, there are few lights and heavy shadows. Uh, the air is thick with the stench of the stench, the stench of brim, brimstone, and faint sounds of infernal chants and screams can be heard in the distance. Pleasant. The <laughs> right. <laughs> the architecture is intricate, with many buildings uh, featuring carvings and reliefs of demons in various forms, often depicting scenes of carnage and destruction. The roads are lined with dark trees whose leaves are fleshy and the color of blood uh, and strange twisted shapes can be seen in the shadows beneath them. Uh, the inhabitants of this town are a mix of demonic races, each with their unique characteristics. Uh, some have wings while others have tails or horns there uh they move through the streets with a very predatory grace their eyes glowing with a malevolent light uh the sounds of their claws clicking on the stone pavement and their low guttural growls create an unsettling ambience the atmosphere is one of danger and unpredictability with the constant feeling of being watched by unseen eyes. Uh, Alewin leads you to the estate in the center of Mazin. It's an ominous structure known as Mazin Manor. It is imposing and intimidating to any who gaze upon it. The estate is grand uh, in a Gothic style mansion with imposing uh with an imposing presence that dominates the surrounding land landscape the mansion is three stories tall and appears to be made of dark gray stone with large arched windows that allow dim light to filter through the roof is steeply uh pitched and made of black slate tiles the front of the mansion has a grand entrance with large wooden door with a large wooden door that appears to be made of dark heavy wood and has intricate carved demons and other dark creatures on its surface two stone gargoyles flank the entrance their twisted faces leering down at any who dare approach uh make a perception check all of us everyone well no you know it okay you know it Okay. Sixteen. Anyone else? Yes. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, perception, right? Yep. Sorry. So, uh, Arev got a twenty-three, and Winter gets a seventeen. All right. So it's enough for all of you to see it, including myself, who sees a very naughty kitty sitting on the table behind you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> she just watches him oh, yelling. Yeah. Like, like, I'll be right back. Not scared of him at all. She's just stock still. <gasps> and then, uh, what? <laughs> the chair. The um, chair. You guys see. As you walk past these gargoyles, one of the eyes seems to follow you from each one. And you get the feeling that they could spring to life at any moment should they need to. Um, As the estate is surrounded by high, I've, um, by high ivory-covered walls that encircle the entire property. Beyond the wall, the estate has a spiraling Sorry, a sprawling garden of succulent type plants that appear to be overgrown and uncared for. There is even 
There is even a little pond with what a rev would recognize as blood lilies in them. The garden is filled with twisted and gnarled trees, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers towards the sky. The ground is covered in a thick layer of dead leaves and moss, and the air is heavy with the smell of decay and rot. Despite the dark and foreboding appearance, the estate is strangely alluring, drawing those who dare venture in, venture too close, with its mysterious and eerie presence. The sound of creaking shutters and the howl of wind through the trees only adds to the sense of foreboding. If warning, uh, so um, the whole mansion seems to be alive with dark magic, and it's clear that the demon or devil who resides within the great power uh, has great power and influence. You get to the front doors. What do you guys do? So, this friend of yours, Demon Lewin. Demon Lewin. <laughs> Demon Lewin. Yes, it is. Have any of you ever, you know, been down here out of curiosity? This is not a. Uh, this is not a side of this manor that you have seen before, other than that garden that you've just passed. I I don't know. It certainly seems familiar. Hmm, interesting. But I just, I don't know whether I can tell you honestly whether I've actually been here or whether I've just seen it like, a, like an image or a like the way Damascus can do. And you know how he uh, pulls up those images sometimes and makes them dance and move and stuff. And half the time it was dreaming anyways, so. All right, so I'm going to uh, say no. <laughs> it's fine by me. All right. Um, just everybody. Well, it'll be whatever. It'll be, I suppose. Um, let's go. And uh, I'll lay one. The, the moment you say that, the, the doors open of their own accord. Amazing. <laughs> That's handy. The inside of the mansion is just as ornate and imposing as the exterior. Uh, the entrance hall is grand and spacious with, sweeping, with a sweeping staircase that's leading up to the upper levels. The walls are lined with rich dark wood paneling and adorned with intricate carvings and paintings of other demons and dark creatures. Uh, off the entrance hall, there is a formal drawing room filled with elegant furniture and heavy drapes uh, that block out the light. In the center of the room is a large fireplace, its flames casting a flicker, uh, flickering shadows across the walls. What do you guys do? Hello. <laughs> you yell. Yeah. Do you yell hello? Yes. I mean, you I'm do. keeping my personal voice low because I, <laughs> I, sh I share a wall with sleeping people. But you, yeah. you hear, you hear the sigh from the room with the fireplace. <laughs> and Did you nothing. Happens. Feel like that was necessary. I mean, they know we're here. <laughs> Did they? No one was it here. It doesn't seem like they do. Yeah, they, they, nice. they came to actually greet us if they know we're here. Just Lack of hospitality. If they a know moment we're here, later, it's very impolite. Uh, a moment later. We're very demanding guests all of a sudden. Right? Clearly! <laughs> Annoying. High standards. With an arm on the the door. The door the door jam. A tall, lean muscled purple tiefling. With um, with gold rim glasses and gold makeup appears, and he is scowling at you, Rev. A good sign. So, what to 
different look. Surely you're not irritated about the book still. I'm not irritated about the book still. Ah, wonderful. Rev glances over and goes, Huh. That's a development. What? Oh, nothing. Just sometimes you uh, know how to speak. Hello, Cunning. Oh, oh, oh. snap. He's getting glaring at you again. Oh. Come here. Now I understand why you kept him to yourself. <laughs> I take a couple steps forward. He waits for you to walk up to him. Do you? Jeez. Yes. When you get there, he looks you over really slowly, leans in and kind of gives a <laughs> to you and goes, Who's that I smell on you? Who? Oh! Your name is the cunning. You'll figure it out. Oh, look. <laughs> the look he gives you is just... He's so <laughs> mad. Wow. Uh, he reaches out, grasps the uh, necklace around your neck of Lady Mislin, and tugs it off. And it disappears. Oh, uh oh. And then uh, he retreats back into the room. I, I I follow him and I go, that wasn't mine to take or yours to take from from me specific. You made a deal with Varian. And gave him that necklace. I know I share a body, but it's no punishment to me other than to know that you're hurting him by taking that necklace. It'll wear on you. It's enough for me. So you are so bothered by the affair of a single mortal that you'll cause that same mortal pain. You are mine. Did you forget that? I knew that I, I think you you're, a you're even still wearing his glasses on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I wearing them? I th I thought that you oh, wear. No, you right. said that you put them on because it it keeps uh, it keeps varying at bay. That's right, I did. While <laughs> they're talking, Damascus is like making a show of like just examining the place while also moving to be behind the cunning. Just in case. Especially if you're all just like <laughs> slowly <laughs> like Mislin. Yeah. Well, you're, you're making tour. <laughs> you're ma you're like getting around, kind of like surrounding mm -hmm. him. Uh she might be a necklace, but she's a friend of Damascus, isn't that? It's not okay. She's <laughs> behind woman. behind the cunning off in the corner of the room is actually um a tall, slender elf with long raven hair that uh cascades down her back. She has light blue eyes that are that sparkle with an intelligence that you know you don't possess, Damascus, <laughs> uh which is Inimus. And um, give me an insight on her. All of us. Uh, you don't have to. You you okay. know too. You okay. you know. Uh, I feel like I'm distracted in the conversation. Yes. I haven't looked around. I'm like looking at the cunning. Twenty one. Twenty one. He's on his side. 
if she has to, she will blast you right outside that fucking door. She's doing the same thing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. He knows. Amazing. This is not hostile at all. (laughs) This is great. It's gone from, it's become very hostile very quickly. And it's It's not something that you were expecting. Um, I I don't, I don't want to fuck up or I'm shit. My type, uh, ask a question momentarily before any of this continues because I'm a little confused and perhaps either one of you and she's she looks at Edimus and uh, the Canning might shed some light on a situation for me quickly it's your question alone when he sounds so vexed right now <laughs> <laughs> of course um they don't recognize me isn't that a little detail that um, we should have chatted about, you know, a while ago? Feels important, yes? She thought. You, it's a very quiet and like pregnant pause there that he gives you. And he says, Well, you're. F- your other self ran into a false hydra. Oh. I was not expecting that. Very. And she starts crafting runes again. And this time she's in it for probably a good minute as she's making notes. You're making notes. Mm-hmm. And there's a, you're, we're back to this standoff. <laughs> what do you do, Arev? As he, he sits gingerly down in his armchair, crosses his legs. Is there another chair across from him? There is, yeah. There is another one that lo- and they're facing the fire. Yeah, because w- what I was going to say is that if, if there wasn't one, I was going to like find the nearest one and like drag, like, drag it, it over very loudly <laughs> over. <laughs> so you know facing. what? There isn't one. Go ahead. <laughs> I drag it All very loudly. It. Just you can you can see his eye twitching as you do that. You get the you know you know the cunning. Everything has its place. Yeah. No, and I've actively disrupted that. Yep. Um. And I sit down in the chair and I look square at him and I say, it's funny that for someone who claims that I am theirs, they have done a distinct lack of actual claiming. I wasn't going to push you. But you also were barely present. Half the time I've encountered you, I had, or sorry, should have encountered you, I've instead encountered Renanel. I know. Half. I know Renanel, or at least believe I do, far better than I know you. I, I don't even know your real name. Alaywood laughs out loud. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's for like half a second, it's really hard for the cunning to like keep that face because for some ungod ungodly reason, he actually likes Alaywin. Um, and he's had a really hard time um keeping that to himself because he doesn't want you to know at all. <laughs> He's, Birds of a feather. Yeah, like keeps it, keeps it together, looks at you and goes, My apologies. But I do have a town to run. And you were given a way to contact me. And yet I you was. do not. I tried. And then he leans forward till you guys are like nose to nose. He goes, Vistrixen. And he sits back. (laughs) 
Arev stands up and he starts walking towards the seated Vic Sturkson. And very calmly, he says, Stand. Give me orders. If I am yours, then that means you are mine. And if I ask you to stand, a very, very small request, then stand you should. I need to roll something. Okay. He, he's got that like real glower look on his face. He looks up at you. Kind of looks down, glowers again, looks back up at you. He goes, you'll bathe first. <laughs> And he says that and he snaps his fingers and um and a almost what looks like a, a shade of a human. It's barely an outline of someone comes and stands beside you and pulls on the sh- the corner of your shirt. It'll take you to your rooms. Uh, it, it will take me to my rooms, plural? I assume you want them to stay with you. They will follow you. And he's not even looking at the rest of you guys. He's just scowling and sulking. <clears throat> Is he looking away from me? At the fire. Um, so I would like to very quietly, uh, walk up behind him and just ever so lightly, um, what's he wearing? Is he, is he wearing like... Like a, like a like a vestish stuff. Like, are his shoulders bare? I kind yeah. of imagine him wearing. He normally like... wears like a uh, like a tank top kind of thing going, um, and he has like a bunch of gold gold arm ri- bangles and stuff that go down his arms. <clears throat> you notice he wears an abundance of ju- of jewelry. So, uh, then I would like to stealthily approach him, and if at all possible. Um, just quietly place my lips right on the back of his left shoulder Mm -hmm. and then immediately follow the servant and uh, walk away without saying anything else. You do. Uh, You get like a, like, like he's just not looking at you until you bathe kind of thing. Um, And he'll, you'll follow the servant. They'll take you to your rooms. Um, Does everyone else follow? Well, I'd, I'd call to them and be like, we were dismissed for the moment, if you'd like to follow me. I'm happy walking away, but we are a crew and we stick together. All six of us. I'd like Mislin back. Don't Definitely not counting away when it's part of the crew yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push your luck. If it would help, somebody else could hold on to her. We won't give her to her if. I'll do it. She'll stay with me. Ooh. Take no, your wins no, while you, you can. Ah, I'm going to roll something for the mask and see how stupid he is. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you, you don't have to. 
you hear and you hear after you bathe and make yourself ready for dinner perhaps we'll speak uh damascus has a thing where he can uh, as an action, use universal speech to basically make any creature magically understand them. him. Mm -hmm. I know he's speaking in common right now, but I want to use that to, in Infernal, say, just say, we'll definitely need to revisit that conversation. And then turn and walk. Because he can't actually understand it if he responds to him, so he needs to leave before he gets talked back to and re <laughs> makes him realize he doesn't know what the fuck to say. Ruin the moment. Mostly he's trying to bluff him to think that he speaks infernal. That's really funny. Okay. Um it, upstairs. Or, yes. Can I can I like encourage everyone to sort of like follow the shade, but then just like linger for a moment? Okay, what is it that you want to do? Cunning. What? Can you make the rest of them leave? The the party? No, the the rest of the attendants, Inimus, Alewin, anyone else in the room. He'll wave his hands and look at you, Elewin, and and uh and say, perhaps to the dining hall. Yes, yes, yes. Uh and she'll like pick up the book that she left on the table. <laughs> she wants what I love her. what I love about this is that for as <laughs> as um he likes everything in its place he likes like he has so many books he has libraries on top of libraries of books and you have free reign to go through every single one of them and you notice that you and Inimus are probably the only people that ever get to touch anything that he's not allowed anyone to do it's fine uh and and Rananel, if he wanted to you are alone with the cutting what do you do I'm sorry for not seeking you out sooner. You can believe me or not, but I did try. My life and uh, what happens with this body are not entirely up to me, no matter how much I wish it were. He crosses his arms as he stares at the fire. Since I have walked through your doors, I have complied with every request that you have given me, including the one where you've asked me to leave and bathe except that I simply have not fulfilled that yet. I have not left, yet I will. So with that in mind, do you not think perhaps you don't need to hold the leverage of Missilin above my head and you could simply give her back before I continue? Because where will I go? I I'm already here. You've already given me your name. You know I'm going to go and do as you've asked and meet you for dinner. And there are more conversations to follow. I'm sure perhaps you'll finally fill me in on whatever favor that is that I owe you in exchange for Inimus's soul. 
But in the meantime, perhaps you can forgive me just enough to not punish Varian in my stead. You hear a, a like a scoff, but you feel a weight in your pocket. Thank you. Leave. He's so pissy pants. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's I mean I made him mad. Um, just as I leave, um, I'm going to use my control flames cantrip because he's been staring at the fire Mm -hmm. and as he stares, I'm going to just control the flames and ever so slightly, um, arc them until they've spelt his name followed by my name in my stereotypically um when it, whenever a rev controls flames <laughs> not not in a heart but when whenever <laughs> sorry for the fans. No, um, XOXO <clears throat> but um just whenever I control uh flames they take on uh, an ethereal sort of um white quality uh almost as if they're tainted by by the starlight that seems to be um I say tainted, maybe augmented uh, is a better word, uh, by the starlight that that sort of courses through my entire being. And so first, I control the flames until they've uh, singed one of the logs with the name Vixtrixen, and the second with the name Arev. And then I just leave swirls and eddies of white flame mixed amongst the logs, and it amongst the original flames which belonged to the cunning and then silently i walk out the door at right before you walk out the door you get a a huff and he looks at you he goes will you wash that scent off you (laughs) (laughs) and uh literally been non-stop from the last (laughs) night until now so yes (laughs) when (laughs) A rev comes out of the room. Uh, he'll see a Lewin is like down the hall, probably about like thirty feet away from the door, um, leaning against the like the hall, the wall there, like thumbing through the book. And as a rev comes out, she goes, "Out of curiosity, I haven't seen him that irritated in a while. What did you do?" A rev looks at a Lewin straight in the face. And he says, how long have you been here? Mm. Well, it's hard to say, honestly. It doesn't make sense. You work the same here. You know, all of that. And as well as, you know, even though I'm great with, you know, time magic, I don't actually know. <clears throat> Couple of weeks, months. Not a year, I don't believe, but who can say? Or just nods. Then he kind of looks at her again and says, When was the last time you made him do something you wanted? And he holds up the mislin necklace dangling from his oh. fingers and simply Ooh. walks past her. She holds up the book that he took out for her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, were we in the same room? As he's like walking down the hallway, she's like, what? (laughs) So confused as to like what what just happened. Um, Well, I I don't know the story of the book, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's not something that a rev knows, although James. No, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. (laughs) Yeah. And also, they're in boyfriend flex. Well, it's well, also, it's the fact that like she's sort of had this cat and mouse game of like, I don't know, a protege or apprentice or like kind of sparkiness. But like, that's like a playful sort of thing. I flat out convinced him to give that back to me, which is an entirely (laughs) different thing. You're not wrong. That's 
see. Uh, I think I think James is a little possessive here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, upstairs, there are several bedrooms, each lavishly decorated with plush beds, fine linens, and antique furnishing. The windows are shuttered, and the air is heavy with the scent of incense and burning candles. Um, you are each shown to a very nice room for you to call your own while you are here. Each one has a bathroom attached to it with a very deep uh, claw-footed tub where you are encouraged to bathe by the shade before, you know, dinner. Uh, what do you do in that time? Anyone? Gilly will have a nice little like '90s kids movie montage of like jumping on the bed and like taking a <laughs> bath and splashing around and yeah. really enjoying all of the luxury. Gilly's yeah, it up. it's <laughs> the cutest thing ever. You find everything that you need. By the way, there like it's been like like it's been uh, pre-planned. There's outfits for you if you need them there's it's everything you need to be comfortable like a nightgown for later tonight brush all of that um anything else anyone um damascus will spend a little time kind of going over the room and the bath and the bed for traps he's basically doing trap steps he's, he's doing a traps test he is just trying to see Roman if there are any <laughs> spells on it. Any, yeah, he's so bad at investigation. Can Faza help me if we're in the same room? One of you can do Arcana, and one of you can do Investigation. Okay, Faza will do Arcana. I'll do Investigation. Uh, fourteen Investigation for Damascus, and thirteen Arcana for Faza. <laughs> uh the room is magical there is magic on many different things in this house um but nothing seems to be like a i don't know man that's this what you get it's magical uh trap wise <laughs> you don't find anything i will start running a bath and just go That I'm gonna have a bath first. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, darling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that Elaine knows something more than she's letting on. I'm wondering if she had something to do with us being brought here in the first place. She seemed well to know that we were coming to begin with, and a little upset that it didn't work the way she expected. At least when I popped into her head, you hear a splash. And then, how could she know you? But she doesn't know who the hell I am. Exactly. If she's Great. supposedly been with us for forever, shouldn't she know who you, we are? I would assume. Oh my God, there are bubbles. <laughs> 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 I would assume so, but she seems to know everyone. But she, me, and no, no, me. She kind of looks at Winter weird, and she kind of looks at Gilly weird at the same time, too. Like, maybe the, she knows them, but I don't even know, man. <laughs> I go over to her, and I just go, I'm going to say something you're not going to lack. I don't think she knows who Gilly is, and I don't think she knows who Winter is either. Okay. Why am I not going to like that? Because she does recognize him. Shut the fuck up. Right now. I'm just saying. Why this. would you? Why, why wouldn't you let me have the bath first? You you are having the bath. Oh, before. Now I I'm you. angry. Now I don't want to <laughs> have the bath. Now I need to go and get dressed and find that purple haired bitch. Excuse me, while I get I out know. of the time. Wait, wait, let's let's 
We will deal with it. I just mean, maybe she comes from a world where the opposite happened. Where it weren't... Where I died? Yeah. Might explain why she don't know you. And why she might that, be That means instead. that there's a Threven that we can find. <sighs> maybe. If there is, then there's a Damascus there and a, a Rev and a... Maybe not a Gilly, but... Hell, maybe... That means maybe I there... can have my brother back? It's a possibility, is all I'm saying. It wouldn't be him. You know that. Just like this... This ain't the same person that we knew. Not from what I can tell. Not from what it sounds like. She's different. Do you know that? Do you know her? You don't. So maybe, maybe it's enough. It's, it's possible. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Don't want to get your hopes up, but... We... You, she she slides under the water and you see her under the water start scrubbing her hair as fast as she can. Like, she's like, I need to wash faster. She comes back I'll up. Wait. I need to go and talk to her. We'll, we'll talk to it together. Why don't we <laughs> why don't we talk to it Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> Are you knocking on their door? Yes. You hear a knock at your door, Damascus. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming, purple haired witch! <laughs> is there like a. Stop it! Is there like a divider, like an old fashioned yeah. paper divider to put in front of the bathroom for privacy? I put that up and then I'll go get the door. Just poke my head in. It, oh, uh, come on in. Just phases in the, in the bath. Oh, thanks. Um, and he like walks in. And he's just like his face looks gaunt, like just like like drained, like it o- almost as if like he's hungry or like ha- hasn't eaten in a couple of days. You know how you get that sort of like tight edge along your jaw and like the sort of sunken cheeks. You all right? Did, did he do something to you while you stayed behind? I knew you should have stayed behind. I don't know why you thought that was a good idea. No, actually, um, that part, that part was productive. And I, I reach out with like a closed fist over to Damascus. I, I need your hand. Him. I fist bump him. <laughs> what? what? God damn it, Damascus. <laughs> Open your hand. Oh, for fuck's right. sakes, Damascus! From the that's what you hear from the the locket. You didn't even see what happened. No, it was it, for fuck's <laughs> sakes, boy, boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I I let go of Miss Lynn's necklace in your hand. I'll take it. I your miss. man pulled some sassy shit. Got that demon wrapped around his little finger. Well. When you're as handsome as a rev, I'm sure it's real easy to make people do what you Don't want. Don't I do. know it, <laughs> my handsome little knight? <laughs> I uh... how'd you get her back? With that sassy, sexy mouth of his. I Anybody behave. Said, I don't don't want to know the details of that one. <laughs> I behave, Damascus. God. Oh wait, he wanted you to no then ch- I'm kidding! I'm kidding, I'm joking. I know I know Lady Miss Lynn. Um My oh, hero. Honestly, Damascus. I there's so much that happened so quickly. Like I if you'd asked me yesterday, I would have said that. I finally felt like my life was starting to make sense. And <laughs> if you, <coughs> you asked me the same question today. A- and all of that has been ripped away. All of these pieces of, of my life's puzzle that I was starting to put together, uh, the piece, the inner piece that I was starting to find and Today, it's like 
today it's like learning that the language I thought was inner peace was just another trick of chaos trying to tell me it's something that it wasn't. I wish I knew what to tell you to make that better, but unfortunately I don't. But I can My say that... God, you're dramatic. <laughs> I that. love it. <laughs> Give it to me more. Nothing that happened back in Rayab didn't happen. We just got something to deal with before we can get back there, and we're going to deal with it. We always you, knew you that went we were to the worst to. person to help you, right? Hey, now. You're go you, you went to the one who fumbles over all his words and barred my ass. You should be so lucky. I should. I'm, we gotta deal with these people and get back there, and we will. The only good thing that I can think of right now, Damascus, the only saving grace that might let us get back to Callum, that might let us have any chance beyond, beyond the hopelessness that I saw in that ruined forest when you sent me back is that whatever this place is has Elewin's time magic disabled. What's that mean? Oh my god, Damascus! I it don't means know that magic. we can probably go back to a time before this! That's what I said splish, like splash, earlier splish, splash, today, splash. We... It's literally the first thing I said when you came back from that place. Literally the first thing. Why am I getting yelled at? Uh, you're right. You're the punching bag, and I'm so sorry. Somebody's got to be. My pretty mm -hmm. little elf. <laughs> I'm happy it's not me this time. We'll take turns. No, you're right. But... If we can get back there. We just got to convince this version of a Lewin, if it is the Lewin that we knew. You don't know her. To help us. You don't I, know, I know any that... of this still. I know that I knew her. Because uh, Tamina told us about her. Tamina told well, us that the there wasn't a Lewin. I have not told you what mm -hmm. I what I knew. All I know is that a Lewin was a person that we knew that was gone because of the false hydra. Tamina told us that. Okay. Yeah, like you don't know anything else. I think, no. but yes, that was that was the small context was that this was a person that we knew. Not not that we didn't venture to it. There's no history, yeah. but you're like. You Fair should enough. know this person, but you don't. Yeah, yeah. this is the person we knew. Um, Damascus and Faisa. Yeah. Um. In, in no offense meant, but uh, you could probably just come out here in a towel. I don't think you have exactly what I'm looking for. Plus, you're spoken for, so. That's fair. There was a robe <laughs> on the back of the screen. You hear wet feet just slapping tile. <laughs> dun, 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 and then she appears. <laughs> I, I One of those really to... plush, like, hotel robes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always warm. But it's black. Because... And I assume it's always warm because we're in hell. It's like it yeah. came out of one of those uh, towel warmers. 100%. Yeah. Even if it wasn't, the cunning would have it that way. I, I turn to Damascus and I go, okay, I get it. Right. But then I look at them both and I say, As much as it's going to suck, I need you two to do your stupid mind magic thing. Oh, and I need you to look into my mind, and when it hurts, you need to not stop. I don't like where this is going. What is it you want to show us? Well, 
cast the spell and find out, Damascus. I wouldn't be asking you of this if I didn't think it was completely necessary. But it's time that you know. Okay. I think everyone should sit down if we're going to play with our minds. <laughs> Agreed. And if a rev turns a little bit to to go and sit, I will poke him. Okay. Like right in the back. You poke him in the back? All right. Sorry about that. Just making sure you weren't like an illusion or something. I promise I'm standing right here. Also, ow. Sorry. Okay. D- don't hurt to check. I mean, it did hurt to place. check. Faces sits cross-legged on the floor in front of you guys. Who um, You go and take a, a chair. There are two armchairs in your room. But she's cross-legged on the floor? Yeah. She's about to do some magic. Oh, okay. I was just and she doesn't want to, like, fall over. I was just thinking I'd, I'd go sit. Like, if she's sitting, you know, like, like this, I'd sit, like, with, like, my knees, like, almost, like, like if the three of us were to sit, like, knee to knee, cross-legged, triangle. to make, like, a triangle, you yeah. know, okay. 100%. That's exactly you, you what i You join her on the floor. Like you're gonna do patty cake? I was just right. gonna hold out my hands. You, you <laughs> assume patty cake position, uh, seance position, and you all, <laughs> you, like, link hands, uh, ready to summon the spirits of hell. And... <laughs> The black flame candle in between all of you um, lights itself. <laughs> right. Uh, and you see for a moment, um, FaZe's eyes flash red and it, they glow brighter. And then you haven't seen it in a while. But that black takes over her whole eye her whole eye that Tamina's magic and you got you guys are all gone for a second there's nothing there as she links you all together and she goes okay maybe try room I haven't done this before maybe try like remembering what you saw I summon back the flood of memories that were missing I start back from the moment that I first saw the group of you protruding out of the shadows in the sewers back in the city Standing there with two motes of starlight floating around my body as the light flickers out over all of your faces, one of which is a Lewin's. Mm-hmm. And I remember that first impact, that first look on all of you. I remember the fight that ensued. I remember a Lewin taking the final blow against a statue with a errant magic missile. Yeah. I remember journeys under mountains. I remember masterful illusions and magic and being taken with the queen of a foreign land and all of her foresight. I remember so many facets and moments. I remember long walks, running races, looking after dogs and cats and pets. I remember funny jokes. I remember her interacting I- interacting with Varian, who straight down to the their arguments over boiling the magic out of water and whether it can it can happen. And there is this tidal wave, this font of emotion until the last two memories that flood through his mind before catching up to the present are this faint image of her back walking out of a door and the sound of retreating footsteps. And then the haunting memory of the way that the dead body of the false Hydra looked and discovering her bag, although at the time I didn't know whose it was, and all of the items inside and how they once belonged to her. And then... There's the one last memory 
of a rev walking up and sharing what he viewed as a, another little nugget of wisdom while he couldn't rationalize that this could possibly be the same person. This could not be the same Alewin, or could it? And based off of her reaction, the subtle shrug, the lack of attentiveness, the realization that no, this, this is someone very, very different. And he relives his entire memory of Elaine with the, with the two of you. It happens so fast. It's almost like all he needs to do is think about it for a second. And you feel a wall break in your mind. All of these memories that shouldn't be there start flooding into your your memory and filling it back up with things that happened with a whole person that seemed to just disappear from your world and Faza rips her hands back away from you both as she stodges a nosebleed oh yeah that's you think she forgot reading that was in love with me? It's just funny. Do you think she forgot reading Goblins in Love with Me? Wait, that's not the <laughs> same language. Oh, my God. oh no. <laughs> okay, I I'm kind of sad now. I don't know. This, this ain't her. This ain't the same person I remember. She don't seem to remember Faza or uh, she it's mentioned not her. things that we haven't done. No, oh, and so this is the thing is it's it's not. It, it's not her. And that's but it also is. Damascus would never do some of the stuff that you did, which makes me wonder what her Damascus is like. Honestly, it seems like a stick in the mud. <laughs> I just had a bath. <laughs> I go get a washcloth and I clean up her little bloody nose. Sorry. You staunch the knock, 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 knock. That's her killing. Party in my room. <laughs> Gilly, Gilly doesn't just... even wait. <laughs> Guys, I've come up with a plan to get the necklace back, okay? We're going to do a heist. I've got it all planned out. I have a diagram. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> what are you, you walk up in, to? You walk in to see Faza holding her nose with a washcloth. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rev's hands were, like, out. Because he, like, doesn't have, like, much low-level magic. But he was kind of, kind of like, about to apologize but like it would like look like he's like standing above her while her nose is bloody. Oh jeez, <laughs> something's happened. <laughs> I've got like a three point healing spell. I think. Do you need that? No, I think. I think you gotta. You want to lean forward, not back, right? Or is it no backwards? You want to lean back. Why is everyone back screaming? Throat, lean forward as Winter walks in after you. <laughs> Winter, what do you do about a bleeding nose? Lay on hands. Come here. He walks over and actually <laughs> puts his hand on her nose and heals up. Thank you. Ugh. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god, so we did this mind magic and Rev showed us all these memories that apparently he remembered on the way here about this purple-haired witch who knows my brother from another timeline and... It's a lot, and I tried to connect us all so that we got it all back, and then my nose started to bleed because it was a lot of magic, and everything kind of hurts, and I have a really big headache right now, and she doesn't remember teaching me to read because it's not the same old language. Uh, okay, are we somewhere. talking about are we talking about Demon Lady? Yeah. 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 Okay, so she is your friend for real, no. but, but not no. kind of not. She's got the same body 
as our friend. Uh, well, we are experienced with that. Memories. I mean, yeah, that goes. So it's it's kind of kind of like me and Varian, I guess, except a little bit worse because the one that we loved isn't here. He got Ooh. eaten. Oh. She's, she's gone. And there okay, is somebody so... else who shares her face but isn't the same person. And then I feel really bad because Winter's in the room. Anyways, I think I'm going to go take a bath before you uh, grab dinner. No, Pull. it's cool. Uh, You're not going alone. You want to have a bath with me? I still need to bathe. Oh, that's a new development. I can't keep up. <laughs> I can't keep up with the rave situation. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, if you want to have a bath with me, you are more than welcome to have a bath with me. Um, ew, I'm right here. <laughs> What yeah, does I it matter? I've, I'm not your brother. I, I You're not I'm, my brother. So I think I'm missing something. <laughs> Are we not getting clean? We should be. Yes. Okay. Let, let's let's just let's just go, huh, Winter? Yep. Yeah. Um, you guys, we're gonna stop here. You guys are all getting bathing yes oh uh, i yes. assume your uh, winter knows her too but doesn't have any of those memories love that uh winter Ooh. still does not know who you are alewin so that's hilarious um you guys bathe i'm gonna quickly we jump down to alewin who was the last thing that you did was so you had this confrontation with a rev um, yeah <laughs> Um, she would seek out enemies who I assume went to the dining room and yeah. she would, um, be trying to figure out what the hell is going on and, um, trying to, she'll approach her and be like, so <clears throat> some things are sort of not going the way they should and I'm worried I might have fumbled a little bit which I'm not used to and uh don't really know how that's gonna go also the people I wanted out of this party aren't even here so they might have lost Callum and I don't even know where Talon is so well it might be that um, time does not work the same way as it does. We might still be able to go back. Yes, but uh, it seems like the uh, variable was a false hydra in this timeline. And unfortunately, the other timelines do not match quite as well. And I it's not a whole lot I can do about that. This was the best option. In all the others, they... And she flips open her book and flips through. Um, she'll stop on a page and stop on a page about three or four times. And um, what Inimus sees is the, like, uh, like this magical, like, reenact, uh, reenacting of Talon dying, Callum dying over and over and over in her book so she'll flip through and show enemies and it keeps going it keeps going and going and going this was it this was the timeline where this did not happen so unless i fabricate one from scratch which you know i mean no that's been be long very enough. much beyond your capability yes it has been long enough five years has been long enough and i she'll close her book I cannot handle longer than that. He said so. he would bring you back to them, yes? yes? That was your deal? Yes. Then he will bring you back to them. For a devil or a demon, he is as far as I have seen, very he keeps to his word. Yes, but if 
they're already calling me a demon. I do not believe they trust me, and it would have been much easier if, you know, Callum were here telling something, but I'm just not sure how to go back. Uh, Why do they not know you? Miscalculation. The, the, um, the... The Alewin of this timeline is gone. Gone. You're right. You you say that so, like, just gone. And she's like, <laughs> there's a flinch. Because this is her, that's her Alewin. Yeah. It is not what I had planned, obviously. But you know how these things go. And uh... Do you know how? Oh, does she know? She doesn't know. Well, he yet. he just told you. Okay, he did. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. I was trying to make sure I wasn't in bed again. Oh, she wasn't she would have been in that room too. So Yeah. Okay. 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 I was just making sure I wasn't metagaming because like I know, but it was so they say it was uh, a false hydra. It... We thought them to be only theoretical. Um well. Surprise! That's why I uh, and she'll flip through her book again, <laughs> and it like a list of like variables of like what could have happened to this timelines. Um, Alewin shows up as text, and she's like literally. There's scrolling. like no false Hydra at yeah, all. <laughs> yeah, so she's it's like she's scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and she's like, it wasn't, it wasn't even on my radar to even assume. Which means that he will not remember you. When you go back. And neither will tell him. Right. It gives you an edge. These people do not trust you, but if you go back, I... Callum and Talon will not remember you. But they will not know you as the demon lady. It is something... Yes to work towards um, and you have other things do you not you have the same tattoo that Callum has and you have the same deals with Talon that Maya Lewin did the magic will transfer and I, I'm not trying to speak ill of the uh, dead, but is it, was it true, all of the deals? All of them. There were so, so, so many compared to me. <clears throat> she really just agreed to everything all the time, didn't she? She trusted him with her whole heart. Yes, but you could still not agree to deals. Anyway, anyway, I'm... Right, 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 right. right. Can we just, like, undo... I can't even... Shit. All right. What do you know? I will speak with him tonight. Yes. And we'll see if we can return you to maybe the moment you left. Perhaps. The moment they left, at least. Yes. You heard him, did you not? Yes. Then you will have a chance to save him. Right. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. And she's going to, like, sit down at the table and start um making some more notes this time she'll like instead of writing it with her um with her like runes and magic she like shifts her hand and pulls out a quill and is is writing things down the old-fashioned way (laughs) while you write uh you see you hear Inimus go off in the background and uh and you hear china and then you hear some liquid pouring and she hands you, she comes back with a little cup of tea for you that she puts beside you. And you feel as she puts her hand through your hair and strokes it. And she says, 
we will be back in time to save them. Now have some okay. tea. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and Lewin has like leaned over, and uh, she is has started to like cry, and so like there's like little teardrops falling into her tea. <laughs> she'll um she'll kneel down and kind of make you face her and then put her hands on the side of your face and stro- and like take away your tears and um and be your relationship with your intimus is still strong but it's never been you've never had this sort of mothering from her mm-hmm. because you have always been a laywin at her peak yeah and this is something that you've never fully experienced, but she she mothers you. She fixes your tears. She hugs you. She runs her hands through Full your hair. Tears, like yeah, <laughs> and and says, you know, take a deep breath. You know, have some tea. Right, right. I uh, we after like a this. moment, she'll she'll like kind of pull away a little bit because it's making her like slightly uncomfortable. Because this is this is not how she reacts to things. I apologize. It it um I'm not used to things going so awry. And she'll like take the tea, like down it <laughs> to try and like change the subject. She she stands back. You feel her like put your hair off to one side and then say, "You can make them remember or trust you. You." You know his name. Right. Remember yes. that. Yes, 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 yes. And so, names have oh. power. She's sleep like writing still. So. Right. And uh and then she she goes and takes a seat at the table. Uh and I think that's where we will end the session. Uh GG guys. G G. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so glad I don't have to recap this one. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> me somebody's got a chore <laughs> i'm i see stars and i avenge your shenanigan sovereign uh carol i'm carol hello i have been gilly Glane. um uh dan <laughs> you're muted i'm talking muted. in mute oh. <laughs> hi everybody i'm dan you can find me at as the speed of candy on all of the various internet places, I have been Damascus Silver, the half elf bard warlock. Uh, this is Maxine Felicia. She is Paws and caught all of the butterflies. Uh, Good job, James. It's me. Hello, I'm James. Um, this is my normal talking register, much higher than a rev and much faster. Uh, I am Mesrix. You can find me as Mesrix or Mesrix24 pretty much all around the internet. Tonight I played. Art of Dezark are sort of dour, but getting sassier human druid. Uh, and yeah, um, you you want to know you want to know where to find me on the internet? Actually, you want you want to know you want to know a chat in our Discord? Uh, hey. Yeah, uh, there's gonna be links. Uh, somebody with faster fingers than me because my hands are here and not on my keyboard. We'll probably post that link. Um, but yeah, it's a cool place. We do lots of things. Um, our dad jokes are always active. Uh, general chat. Jess is the queen of positivity. She's like constantly sending uplifting messages just like at everybody. It's fantastic. Um, and yeah, there's, there's lots of shenanigans, shenanigans to be had and games to be played and people who are good people who are looking for uh, players. So uh, drop on by. Hi. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Pyrea. You can find me on <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> um, you can find me everywhere as Pyrea. Um, very, very interested in how this entire session went because, damn, you guys, magic, magic, magic. We love to see it. Um, I was a lay with the uh, stunted chronology wizard. <laughs> stunted chronology wizard. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.